You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? Fuck! The only cute thing about it is how hard you try. Damn! She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the worst irritating sight in the world. Or most irritating sight. I know that fe I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she sa says she's admiring. Parfait Girls. It's a series I've never heard in my life. It probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on the door. She points to the classroom door. I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. And I'll tell you one thing, me. Consider this a lesson. Don't. Mm. And that's okay, okay, buddy? I think you might have a stuttering problem there, uh, pal. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Uh. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsill. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. It, don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. I'm going to go into the bathroom. Okay, you go use the bathroom. Atsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't ex expe exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that it was a particularly bad thing. What the fuck is happening in this game? I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, regaining the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. Ugh. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow. How long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes I've, I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typically size, typical slice of life affair. Kind of grew out of these, since it's a rare for the writing to, inter to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Something weird's gonna happen, isn't there? Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Do you share your manga with your friends? Can you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. Natsuki. What? I'm being a douche Natsuki. Uh, how am I being a douche? You're rubbing in the fact that you have friends and she doesn't. <laughs> they just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up to them without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch him in the face. Ugh, I know these kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are al who are also into it. <clears throat> I'm also kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it up, keep it in my own room. Uh. My dad would beat the shit out of me if I. Um. I don't, I don't know if I like that. Okay, at least it's safe here in the club room. Mm. Except Monica is kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. It's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? 
<laughs> Gee, geez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading a wall? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Something's gonna happen, right? It can't just go to a black screen. Come on. I don't know, JJ. Time passes. Natsuki's strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Oh. Dude. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Y yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey. What the fuck? Uh, Natsuki, you, got, you seem to have something in your eye. You want to get that out, please? <laughs> what, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Okay. Natsuki, are you okay? Yeah. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I'll tell you not give me... She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry me. I'm really worried. What do you mean, don't worry? She's fine. She's clearly fine. not. <laughs> it just happens every now and then. Th that's, that's not a good thing to say. That's why I always kept a snack in my bag for her. Uh, I guess that's a good thing for... Uh... Anyway, why don't we all ship homes now? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Oh, shit, I didn't, oh, that's fine. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish the reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading, after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No. I just raised my voice. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. Sorry, I've, I'm paying so much attention. I couldn't help but notice that it's several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical for new writers. Of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering's completely gone, she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but that all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Atsuki can be a bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. You mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. 
which, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, is this the same as it was last time? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Uh, well, <laughs> I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting's pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. It's our first time sharing. I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? Oh, see, that phrase seems so different. That, see, that phrase seems so different. Mm -hmm. Actually, the story is about ghosts at all, me. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Like, oh, that's you. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it over after all. But remember that poets often express their thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. You usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her past, remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more psalm putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy to think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. Guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Waifu. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Huh? Then what's the point of sharing this in the first place? I wrote this when uh, I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha. Huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so... She... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that, so you don't go announcing... Announcing it to the whole world like you're all self-important. I'm pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Fine, I guess. I know, because Monica will make me do it if I don't. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Some people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to hear me her with that last comment. I don't really care. Uh, uh. Hey, Monica. Hi, mate. 
Having a good time so far? No, not really. Good, glad to hear it. I said not really, but okay. <laughs> By the way, since you knew and everything, do they have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just go going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry me. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? It's that sort of beer you're all in to get pissed soon. Yeah, that's true. A hand monica on my poem. Ooh. I like it, me. Really? A lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Natsuki would write. She's a good writer, too. So I take so I take that as a compliment. Uh, if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snake on you. What thing do you like a puppy? Normally I would joke about this, but honestly I don't think it's appropriate for what this game is. But okay. <laughs> Natsuki doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's a fussy- what the fuck? Oh, jeez. That's... abuse. Okay. But sometimes she just lose all of her strength and shut down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. Uh... Thanks, that's, Monica. That's, that's a, really inspired. That's a normal thing. Okay. Uh, I hate that. But I mean, fun guys are into petite girls. Sorry, just trying to look on the bright side. There is no bright side to that, but okay. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Sorry, I'm texting. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. That's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Wait. Mm. Is this different? Yeah, this is different. Oh, damn. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking, or are they simply poems on a flat sheet of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling and playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lung. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. So I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, I'm not sure I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. Okay. For some reason, I'm questioning Monica right now. Because mm -hmm. she seems to be, because, like, you pointed out that one thing earlier. <laughs> Is she... Does she know? Like, it, like she said, she has she had she's had an epiphany, right? Mm-hmm. 
Does she know that she's in a game or something? I don't know, JJ. Okay. Been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous talking about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after one is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Try hard so hard to make something perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. The other way of thinking about it is this. If you pin on the same spot for too long, you'll get a big part, dark puddle thing. Just move your hand and go with the flow. My advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay. Guess it's everyone. I glance around the room. I was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing skills. Okay. Um. You saw it too? Wait, what? In the back. In the back? Poster on the wall. Oh, fuck! No, I, I didn't notice that. I noticed the flute going out of sync. What the fuck? Yo. Uh, Monica, can you take that poster down? Even if there's just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica's playing with her Legos, still. My eyes <laughs> land... <laughs> my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly... Exp yeah. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration, while Yuri smiles sadly. Uh. Either after I sneeze or there's a... Uh, oh, jeez, there's a fucking booger in my nose. I'll get that in a minute. <laughs> What's with this language? Something tells me this argument's gonna go a lot worse than it did the first time. Also, and it's your line. Why did you say that? And it's your line. <laughs> say, say, say the line, Anna. <laughs> Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Tsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? So you completely missed the symbolism or something. It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. Uh, JJ, on a scale from 1 to 10, how much is this game fucking with you right now? I mean... Not much, but I'm expecting it to get worse. Like I said, I think that this argument's gonna go a lot worse this time than it did last time. Seeing as, you know, what happened with Natsuki earlier kind mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, called forth mm -hmm. a fucking demon creature. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know... The, the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and me did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change any time soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and me liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, 
I didn't realise you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. This mm -hmm. music doesn't fit. I hate it. Okay. That's not what I... I'm expecting mm -hmm. this to go down the shitter. You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that me, me appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know you didn't ex appreciate my advice, you, you cheeky tart? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as me started showing up. That's okay. Um, it's okay. I, it's a little... I can't get over that fucking poster. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. No, I like... I I just saw it out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, oh. Yeah. This yeah, doesn't also, involve you. This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. What the fuck's happening? Me? Look who's... Serious. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch? <laughs> oh, fuck! Edgy. Sorry, but my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. I don't like you where this is going. Anything and stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? Fuck! The only cute thing about it is how hard you try. Damn! Well, be careful. You might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. That's real inspired, Natsuki. Not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I'm not bad. You're... All right, that's that's oh. that's a little too far. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let me hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll he he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah. Uh, Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as she noticed I was standing here. Me. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. What? No, stop. What? My fucking... Uh... Just, 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 it's okay. Just, just do what you gotta do. Just gotta do it. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. What? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Just, just, it's okay. It's okay. It's I don't. Okay. I swear it's okay. It's okay. I swear 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 it's okay. Monica, can you can you go away, please? <laughs> Monica. Uh, oh. Monica, can you uh, back off there, buddy? Monica, you seem to be. Please. You seem to be breaking the fourth wall there. Um. Um. Hey, me. Why don't we just step outside for a little bit? She knows. She knows. She okay. has to. That makes sense. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to just stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. <sighs> fuck, I dude. What the fuck was that? Sometimes. Wow. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway. This makes you want to spend less time with the others, and that's fine. Wait a minute. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. She knows. She fucking knows. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly oh. runs. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done.
Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it! I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Me. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. I know you didn't mean it. Okay, why does every time that Monica comes on screen, she seems out of scene? Like, she's not supposed to be there. You know, you notice that too, right? JJ, do you know why that is? No, but I'm assuming it's good. I'm gonna know if we keep going. I'm gonna just point out something, and I feel like it's gonna explain it. Usually, if you look up the sprite models for Yuri, Sayori, uh -huh. and Natsuki, they're all facing three fourths of the way. Monica always faces you head on. Oh fuck! I never noticed that. But like, mm. I, I'm I'm talking about like her outline. I don't I don't know. I'll keep going. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. What do you mean by Monica? I swear to God, you are not doing a a good job hiding the fact that you know something. If she doesn't know that she's in a game, she at least knows something. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Mary looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay for a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I mean, can't... I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm the vice president, so... Please let me take the responsibility for today. Monica sounds like you don't want me to be around for something, Yuri. Uh, yeah, it's almost like you should take a fucking hint, Monica. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with me. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm so sorry for causing you trouble. But I really appreciate you understand. What the fuck? Alright, I guess that's the end of the day. I'm just gonna save here. <laughs> Well, thank every thanks everybody for coming with the Doki Doki. Um, I'm 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 a little I'm a little wizardy worried about where this is going. Uh, okay, I guess we'll end it there and we'll come back. Mhm. Mm All right. Wait, wait a character file. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, wait. You you didn't see that, but I saw that on the fucking. Hold on. I saw something on the OBS. I I it might just be a problem with OBS. Because it was doing that mm -hmm. earlier. But I'm what never. What is happy thoughts? What is happy thoughts? Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I like that.